This is Ring or Dead. This video tells you about an unconspicuous but very important resource. Yes, it's Ability Points. It is one of the most important types of resources that you must understand how to use, when to use them, and how to get the most return on investment. I see, what's the use of Ability Points? As one of the important resources, the Ability Points has 8 functions. They are Move, Gather, Mock Battle, Build a Fort, Relocate, Guard, Long March and the new Quick March of Season 2, which can increase the marching speed and the commander's experience. So it is a very helpful resource for your rapid development. After realizing that it has so many uses, are you already thinking about where to use your ability points? Yes, you know me too well. Gather and Mock Battle at are the two best ways to consume power points. When you just join the game or need additional resources, it is a great thing to spend ability points on Gather. Its advantage is that you can choose the type of resources you want to collect. When the output of resources is not high, it can reduce a lot of waiting time. Of course, you can't just use it on any land. You can open your land overview to see which land provides the most resource. Just jump to the land and gather. It will provide you with the greatest value in terms of ability points. Why is Mock Battle worth consuming power points? Because when you want to upgrade the commander quickly, you can increase the experience value of the commander through Mock Battle to help you achieve it quickly. Each Mock Battle lasts at least 10 minutes and consumes one ability point every 10 minutes. You can see the experience value that it can increase here. Ability Points Energy and Food the mock battle time can be set freely and can be set according to the actual situation. The experience gained from mock battle and different levels of land is different. So here is also a suggestion to choose the most advanced land. The higher your commander level, the more places you can improve your combat effectiveness, and the stronger he will become to help you occupy higher level land. That's really great, is there anything else worth consuming? In addition, it is also very important to expand your territory. So you can also use ability points to expand your territory in the middle and later stages. It can be seen from the map that our territory is a circle. We can send troops within the circle at will. But when we go beyond the circle, we will prompt out of range. At this time, if we don't consume ability points, we can't occupy the land outside the circle. So in order to occupy other important base points later, when we develop to a certain extent, we need to use our ability points to continuously expand our territory. It is worth noting that each long march needs to consume 10 capacity points. So you need to expand your territory where it is conducive to your own development or the development of factor. The maximum number of ability points can reach 20 which is only enough for long march two times. I feel that this ability value is not enough at all. Super agree. So how to get more ability points? 
The answer may disappoint you. Because there is no task method to gain additional ability points at present. But don't lose heart. Because it is a renewable resource and needs a certain time to recover slowly. You can increase its maximum value through the ring skill tree. Okay. Now its maximum Kalyu is 30. However, when the number of ability points reaches the maximum, they will not regenerate until they are consumed. Each recovery takes at least one hour. So it is very crucial to continuously consume capacity points. Ability point is really a very good resource. Using them in necessary points can make you stronger. If you haven't used ability points yet, go and try it. <laughs> 